You think some praises. The one most high. Christ. The Holy Spirit, conquering lion of Judah, conquering lion of Zion. Happy New Year's Eve. Uh, Happy New Year's Eve, America and the world. It is the New Year's Eve of beginning to be 2013. 2012 has had too much death. Too, too much death in 2012. Um, blessings, my heart goes out to anyone who's lost anybody during this year twenty thirteen is gonna be better. Alright. Let me share a few things. Uh we've been uh, dealing with um um book of prayers that route demons and break curses. Um we've been dealing with uh Proverbs and we we're also dealing with um Scriptures for cheating death, living life abundantly. Um, I'm going to share something with you guys and gals out there. Something that uh, really, really might help you out. So, word. A mantra and it goes like this. I bind my mind with the mind of Christ. Okay? I bind my mind with the mind of Christ. The second mantra. Greater is Christ that is in me than me uh, that is in the world. Okay? So mantra number one is I bind my mind with the mind of Christ. And then mantra number two is um, greater is Christ that is in me than me that is in the world. Alright? So what you do is you just repeat it to yourself um, in your mind. And the more you do it, the stronger your mind will become. The more your mind will become like the mind of Christ, especially in certain situations um, where you really, really need to take control of your mind and your thoughts and to shield your mind and thoughts from other entities trying to take control. I know, it's far-fetched, I know, I know, whatever. But for those who, who do believe, um, it's really important to uh, control your mind and to control the thoughts that go into your mind, right? Because those thoughts aren't of your thoughts. Nah. Usually the thoughts are like lower level, like negative like thoughts. Those aren't your thoughts. Your higher self, all your thoughts of the higher self are positive. They're, all your thoughts of your higher self are the thoughts of Christ. Right? So, you know, some people are plagued more than others. Some people more sensitive. Um, to these thoughts than others. You know? People in the entertainment industry, I hope you're listening. Alright? I bind my mind with the mind of Christ. Greater is Christ that is in me than me that is in the world. Alright? Now really, really, really be careful with that, okay? Um, make sure you say the words correctly or it won't work. You know, and don't slip and say, oh, greater is 
uh, whatever. Just, the word is this, greater is Christ that is in me than me that is in the world. And then you can, um, you can alternate it, right? Greater is Christ that is in my family than my family that is in the world, right? Or greater is Christ that is in my workplace than <laughs> my workplace that is in the world, all right? Okay? You saw me catch my drift. Sometimes um, when we go to um, our, our job, man, we're warriors. We're warriors in Christ because we're going to negative places and we're going to associate with people who may not have the mind of Christ or even want a mind of Christ, right? And you have to deal battle with them. You know, sometimes you got to deal battle with the people in the body of Christ. But regardless of the situation, I bind my mind with the mind of Christ. Greater is Christ that is in me than me that is in the world, all right? Try it. Try it out, you know, and then use the alternates, you know. Substitute the, um, um, the means with, um, you know, your situation. Greater is Christ that is in the year 2013 than 2013 that is in the world, all right? 2013 belongs to Christ, and I'm saying so. I bind 2013 with the mind of Christ. <laughs> okay? Okay, you can catch my drift. Greater is Christ that is in 2013 than 2013 that is in the world. Feel me? That's pretty much it. Um, thanks and praises to the one most high, his imperial majesty, Christ, conquering lion of Judah, conquering lion of Zion. Make his way straight. Peace and blessings.